Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Tuesday morning, November 21st, 2023. Again, using What Really Matters, Faith, Hope, and Love by Our Daily Bread. So let's look at today's date. November 21 is Faith, Do Your Best by Richard DeHaan. Read Romans 12, 1 through 8. Then he concentrates on Romans 12, verse 6, which says, We have different gifts, the Apostle Paul writes, according to the grace given to each of us. So Richard writes, All Christians have unique God-given abilities. Some believers, however, feel inferior because they don't have as much talent as someone else. None of us should think that way. God does not hold us accountable for what we do not have. He wants us to discover and develop the skills we do have. In his book, Making Most of Life, J.R. Miller told about Leonardo da Vinci, the famous Renaissance artist. While da Vinci was still a pupil, his old and famous teacher asked him to finish a picture he had begun. Young da Vinci stood in such awe of his master's skill that at first he respectfully declined. But the old artist simply said, do your best. Leonardo took the brush and began. With each careful stroke, his hand grew more steady as his eye awoke with slumbering genius, quote. End quote. Soon, he was completely caught up in his work. When the painting was finished, the master was carried into the studio to see it. Therefore, before there before him was a triumph was a triumph of art. Embracing his student, he exclaimed, "My son, I paint no more." Leonardo's talent surfaced when he did his best. Of course, we cannot be Leonardo da Vinci, but we don't have to. But we don't have to be. In First Corinthians four, the Apostle Paul said that it is required that those who have been given a Trust must prove faithful. That means doing our best and leaving the results with the one who gave us our talents. Who knows? We may surprise ourselves. And God might just surprise you too. So a lot of people want to be able to preach and a lot of people want to be able to sing. And sometimes those talents, you know, they're exhausting, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. You might not want that talent um, or that gift or whatever. But um, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes gifts that keep the faith alive and keep the church going. Prayer is one. I remember um, reading a, a sermon from Spurgeon and he, or it was a devotional or something, I can't remember, but he he was going to pray and so <clears throat> he had a bunch of um, young seminary students and he took them downstairs because he said, you want to know the real power in the church, it's not the sermon. And he went downstairs and there was a group of about 30 people praying for the service as it was beginning, and they continued to pray throughout the service. So whatever your God-given ability is, use it. Do your best, show up, and God might just surprise you. So don't rob yourself of being you by trying to do what others do. I think that's good. We always want to be somebody different than we are. Just be yourself for Pete's sakes. <laughs> that's enough for, for me to be myself is enough for me to handle. <laughs> Amen. All right, so I will see you probably not for a while. So um, I might see you tomorrow. It depends on what time I leave to go down to, for Thanksgiving. But have a happy Thanksgiving um, and try to do something that reminds you of God's blessings that you've been given. Maybe even just state what you're thankful for around the table and then pray. Simple as that. So this Sunday we start our new sermon series, when a, uh, How Does a Weary World Rejoice?, and the first way we do that is we acknowledge that we're weary. So that makes sense. Um, we're going to look at Zacharias and um, Elizabeth and the birth of John the Baptist and how that kind of goes in together with the next Sunday, which will be the announcement of the John the Baptist by the angel and then the announcement of the angel to Mary about uh, the Messiah. Not sure how that's going to work in, but we'll figure it out. So join me here Sunday, 10 a.m., live stream, or in person, 113 Blair Street. And kick off your Advent, um, maybe just go to church every Sunday through Advent. And then starting December 1st, we're going to start reading the Gospel of Luke, and the sermon series I'm doing is on the Gospel of Luke. So we're going to learn a little bit of background on the Gospel of Luke and, and how he starts his Gospel off differently than some of the other Gospels. So it'll be good. In the meantime, eat lots of turkey, have some pie. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.